This video explains how to draw a plot of a table object in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the table that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run line two of the code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new table object is appearing, which is called MyTab. And we can print this table to the R Studio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the R Studio console that our table contains three different table elements, which are called A, B, and C. And below these names, you can see the frequencies in our table object. So in this case, the value A is contained three times in the table. The frequency of the value B is one and the frequency of the value C is two. Now, if you want to draw this table in a plot, we first have to convert this table object into a data frame object. And we can do that as you can see in line five of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the s.data.frame function to convert our table object to a data frame object. So after running this line of code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called my data. And we can print this data to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains two columns, which are called var1 and freak. And the first column contains the names of the elements and the second column contains the frequencies of these elements. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to draw a table object using the ggplot2 package. And in order to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. I have installed the ggplot2 package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line nine of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. And in this case, I'm drawing a plot of our data frame object that we have created in the previous step, which is called my data. And then I'm specifying the names of the data frame columns. So in this case, var1 and freak. So if you run lines 11 to 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new plot is created. And as you can see, this plot is a bar chart. And this bar chart is showing the names of the elements in our frequency table at the x-axis. So in this case, the labels A, B, and C, and the corresponding frequencies on the y-axis. So the value A is appearing three times, the value B is appearing only once, and the value C is appearing twice. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.